right now about space. We wouldn't have access to all the information we have today about the universe without research that's been done for decades. NASA took our Annie Taylor on an exclusive tour of the Lunar Lab to see the importance that moon rocks have had on our understanding of space. Welcome to NASA. From mission control centers, rocket ships, and spacesuits, this place has it all. This is Building 31 North at Johnson Space Center. That includes the Lunar Lab. And it was built specifically to house the Apollo Moon Rock Collection that was brought back from 1969 to 1972. This place now houses over 100,000 rock samples. Sharice Kreischer, a lunar curation processor for NASA, says moon rocks and space dust are the most important thing that's been brought back to Earth. One of the first things that we learned from the Apollo collection was how old the, the Earth was. Rocks on Earth aren't pristine like they are on the moon. Moon rocks don't age because there's no atmosphere to cause erosion. So what you see can potentially be billions of years old. More recently, we've actually learned in the past uh, less than a decade that the moon's rocks actually contain way more water than than was originally uh, realized. Just like famous diamonds and jewels, there are well-known rocks, like the one found by Apollo 15. And they named it the Genesis Rock because it's a part of the primordial crust of the moon. When studying these samples, scientists take all the precautions, from bunny suits, temperature-controlled rooms, even triple bagging each rock for storing. We try really hard to preserve the rocks so that the science that we learn from the rocks can be trusted. It's not every day we go to the moon, so these scientists get stingy and only take a crack at understanding them sparingly. They are still breaking rocks 40 years later. However, come five years from now, they'll get another chance for more rocks when we head to the moon in 2024. We have a lot of surface rocks. I would love to get back some more uh, rocks from uh, much deeper uh, under the surface of the moon that can maybe answer some of the questions of what's going on in the interior of the moon. Reporting from Houston, I'm Annie Taylor.